love Brazilian students in our program. They've been such a, a great addition to our classrooms. Um, but in addition to that, there's just such growth in this market. We see a lot of potential here and know that there's a lot of investment in education. The economy, it's so strong and naturally because of the size of the population, that's also a reason for us coming to Brazil to recruit. So I think this is only going to get better. If we look towards uh, 2014, 2016, the World Cup and the uh, Olympics coming down the pipe. Uh, I think the economy is going to improve and this market is just starting to boil. It's going to get really good in the next couple of years. The events are, that are going to happen in Brazil in the next five or six years, the World Cup and the Olympics, great opportunities for us. We've been doing this fair with uh, Salão do Estudante for, for quite a long time and it's usually the busiest fair and with, uh, with the highest quality of students. We've heard they're some of the best of the world, so we know that they have really good turnout, um, that we're expecting you know, anywhere from 14 to 22,000 people at this fair in particular, so we knew that it was going to be a great success. So far I've done Salvador, uh, Rio de Janeiro, and uh, we're ending up here in Sao Paulo. But each one has, uh, has really impressed me with the number and quality of, uh, of people at the fair. It's been fantastic. The Salon de Sudanchi is a great fair. Uh, it brings us a big range of students, families. Um, today we had a lot of families visiting our booth, so we can see they are really serious about going to study abroad. And um, it's a great quality fair. So they've been in business for 25 years. It's a very a uh, successful event for us. I've been working with BMI for a number of years and I would choose BMI because you guys organize and do a good job in, in, in bringing students, potential students with quality to our booth. And that's one of the things that we're looking when we're doing that fair. The right people that come to these events that are looking for opportunities to study abroad um, and we're maximizing our dollar. Uh, because BMI fairs has a great reputation all over Europe and in Germany as well and um, we've been here for I don't know how many times and we've always made very good experiences and we we'll love to continue these this year as well. They are the biggest fair in, in this market for us um, and have been, have been great to work with. Lots of them uh, are uh, interested in business, forensic sciences, in tourism and hospitality. Uh, many students interested in media studies, such film production, screen um, playwriting. BMI fairs have been great today. We've met a lot of qualified students and um, just had a lot of interest in general in our programs. Um, our intensive English programs have been very interesting to students. We've also had a lot of interest in our business and professional communications programs. Great, we've met some really good quality students who seem to be interested in a variety of different programs at our university. Uh, hopefully we'll get a lot of uh, language students and also um, undergraduate students out of the fair. Students that we have met today, uh, they were excellent. We have got all type of students looking for all type of programs and uh, all types of levels, uh, right weight uh, programs, looking for specialized degree programs. So it's been a very good experience. There were more people that we are expecting. The students that we met today, they were very interested in the programs. They knew what they were asking for. Good quality students, students that can afford to go abroad. We had a lot of students, so we had a lot of work to do. Most students actually were interested in language courses. Um, we had some very good talks for um, master programs and even PhD program. They were great. You know, there was a lot of different students. Um, you know, some of them were looking for language programs. A lot of them were looking for programs where they can learn language and then continue their education, which is really great to see.
Yeah, we've always got registration after like after a couple of weeks after the fair. Say we get about 10 maybe from the fair and that'd be a great success. A few uh, visits coming up uh, before I leave. Parents are coming back to the hotel. They want to sit down and talk more about the program. So that's encouraging and uh, yeah, we'll see. But I, uh, I'm pretty confident that we're going to get some some students out of the fairs here. I actually had one student in uh, Rio de Janeiro give me a registration already, so you can't argue with that. It's fantastic. We already got two, two uh, students signed up, and we are extremely happy. Hopefully, uh, it's going to be the same uh, tomorrow, and we are looking forward to uh, come to San Luis uh next September. We do believe we're going to get like one, two students from each fair. And, uh, a lot of students are looking into going to post-secondary and um, before I believe it was more English programs, but now they're looking into going to post-secondary. So yes, I believe we're going to get some, some registrations. The fair started at 1 o'clock today. It's 6.30 now and I have three firm registrations. You know, we've got about 35 or 40 registrations so far. absolutely come back to a BMI fair. Without a doubt, we will be at another BMI event in the future. Uh, I've been thoroughly impressed with uh, the professionalism, uh, the, the fact that you guys put on a, a great fair, and uh, I'm hoping to do it again next year. Brazil, for sure, you count on us, and we'll be back uh, and uh, working with you guys. It's always a pleasure. You know, we, we come to Latin America because, you know, BMI has sort of got this market sewn up. Absolutely. I mean, I think that BMI puts on a very good show. I'm very happy with, you know, the advertising. I'm very happy with the service I get as an exhibitor. Ah!